but it's just really pressure, and I can't remember anything. Yeah. That's a good thing. Like, I don't remember when I... I, the last thing I remember is you and I talking. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you'll stick around for a quick video. Okay guys, so this is the last of my breast augmentation updates for a while. I'll do one like a month, but this one is for the second half of the uh, first week of recovery. And I will attach the videos from each day following this. Okay, so it is 5.25 a.m. Um, this would be day number five. I woke up this morning again. This morning it was a little bit different instead of like regular pain. It was mostly like um, numb and a bit of throbbing, which I can handle that. I took a little bit of medication. It's feeling a whole lot better now, so we'll see how I feel the rest of the day, but that's pretty much it for right now. Okay, so it's like 4.30 in the morning on, um, I guess it would be Saturday, which would be like day six, I believe. Um, I did pretty well in sleeping yesterday. I actually left the house for a little bit and um, went out, but it was a little bit, I went a little too early, I think, because my neck and my back really started hurting from the muscles being pulled. So I think I kind of overdid it. Um, I slept pretty good last night. Of course, with luck being as it is, you know, I'm now coming down with like a sore throat, which is great because here I am recovering from surgery and getting sick. So that's a lovely combination. Um, now I'm getting to where the biggest problem is when I wake up the numbness in my breast. And I think it's because I'm squeezing with my arms the way I'm doing it. Um, but the pain has gotten less. Um, I'm still pretty swollen, though. Um, the swelling is kind of hit and miss. But anyway, that's where I'm at this morning on day six. I'll record again later. Bye -bye. Hey, guys, it's like day five, six, I don't know, um, since my augmentation. So um, yesterday I left the house a little bit. I finally decided to ride out um, to the store. And I thought I was feeling better until I did that and then realized it was putting a lot of pressure on the muscles in my back and my neck. And I ended up in like extreme pain. And I actually had to, thankfully I had brought an ice pack with me because I knew I wouldn't be too terribly long. And I ended up driving home with it on my neck. So that was a fun adventure. On top of that, thanks to seasonal changes, I end up with a cough, which is not a good thing given that my chest is still a little sore, um, and um, a little bit of congestion, so that's been fun to add on top of it. I am getting better mobility out of my arm. I can go up to about here. Not quite as high on this one. Um, but... You know, as you can see, I threw on my uh, PJs today because it's now like 10.30 at night. But what amazed me is I did at least have enough movement to put, because uh, this is not a wide-necked shirt, it's an average. Um, and I was able to actually put it on over my head. It took a little bit more work, but I was able to do it. And that was a really, really... Um, cool thing. Yesterday, at least I think it was yesterday, yeah, I took a shower and then decided to go out. So one of the weirder things was that was the first time that I had completely taken off my, um, 
my bra to take a shower and honestly it felt kind of weird um like i'm used to having it on and having this support that things felt heavier without it almost like there was more pull um going on it really and truly um was not comfortable now i'm sure that'll change and i'll get more comfortable but it was really kind of awkward because they are still high and swollen dear god are they swollen um and i'm finally starting to get all the uh marker surgical marker spots off so that's kind of nice um but yeah it, it was kind of kind of different um to feel that like even you know washing my hair you don't really realize until you're in there when you don't have this on and you're going like this and washing how much your arms <laughs> rub your boobs it's it's really 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 strange to be honest with you so um yeah it was it was interesting it was different um you know i'll be glad when things start feeling more normal it'll take a while for things to drop um as far as my pain level today um it's been almost non-existent um i've had a little bit of like shoulder pain when i first woke up um you know, my boobs are kind of tender, but I wouldn't necessarily call them, like, painful. It's just the tightness. Um, and in all honesty, if you take out the fact that I have this cold going on, I've probably felt better today than I have at any point after my surgery, even though I did sleep the biggest portion of the day, which is why I'm doing this video at, like, 10:35. So yeah, um, that's a little bit of like what's going on. Yeah. So I mean, so far is everything perfect? No. But I'm happy with it, um, and I know that things will continue to change as as we're going through. Um, so yeah, that's an update on where we're at today. I will try to do more tomorrow. All right. See you guys. Bye bye. Okay, so I'm officially today at the one week mark from my surgery, and this was a good morning when I woke up. I slept well. Uh, I didn't wake up in pain this morning. I didn't have nearly as much numbness when I woke up this morning. I got up to go to the restroom, and it was pretty easy getting up, and then once I was going, like, I felt all this pulling on my back but I didn't feel as much of that today it was uh, kind of surprising and kind of making me feel like maybe I'm getting back to being me you know I went out yesterday god boy I must have really tossed on my hair um I went out yesterday shopping for a few minutes I'm just you know a week later I'm really feeling like I'm actually starting to recover from all this, and it's kind of exciting, because I kind of feel like I can get back into life and record more videos for my channel, and just really um, start focusing on what I'm going to do next, so this has just been a really good morning and put me in a really good mood for the start of the day. Okay, guys, so it is officially, sorry, let me get the phone right, it is officially the one-week mark, um, so a week ago today was my breast augmentation, and today was really um, a day when I felt really good. I woke up, I didn't really have any pain, I was able to sleep really well last night, um, I went and uh, I went out shopping today which was great. I got some time out of the house. Um, it was just, it really felt good. Of course, everything is still really tight. Um, 
but, um, you know, it's doing pretty good. I don't know. Let me, I'll switch the camera and do a view pointing down in a minute. But, um, yeah, I had a really good day. I was really surprised. This will be the last entry on my um, breast augmentation blog for like the one week. I'll do some follow-ups after to kind of detail how things go with dropping and then my follow-up appointment that I have going on. But um, the surgery has not been as bad as I thought it was going to be. And I'm really pleased with the results. I mean, like I said, things are high right now. They'll go into place, but um, I'm not, not unsatisfied. So it's been a good time. But anyway, we'll kind of leave it there. I'll do another little video trying to show something. And tomorrow when I put all this together, when I do the intro and everything, then I'll probably add a little bit more info uh, then. But that's how I'm feeling on the one week mark so that's it for this one I really hope that this video has been informative and showed you a little bit about my process. Of course, with anyone um, having a surgery, breast augmentation, it's all going to depend on you. So, you know, it was relatively easy for me with the exception of one day, but that doesn't necessarily mean it will be for you or it may be even easier for you than it was for me, the only thing I can say is um, when you want something bad enough, you've got to be willing to strive for it and go through it. So after having dealt with it and dealt with some pain and some discomfort, and I still have a little bit of discomfort and muscle pain, I can tell you it was 100% worth it. So, um, and just the details on it. My surgery was on April the 23rd. I had 375 cc's of the silicone gummy bear implants. The um, incision is underneath the breast, which is healing up decently. And I go on Monday to have those stitches taken out. And I think that's pretty much the details. It took me from an A cup, is what I started as, a very small a, like I could not fully feel an A, and I still don't know exactly what I am yet because I'm still in the sports bra and I haven't really measured myself yet, but I may include that in the uh, one month update. But anyway, I'll close with my quote from Kesha, don't let the bastards get you down. It would have been so easy for me to give up along the way. You know, I'm 35 years old. I felt really down that I waited so long. It would have been so easy just to give up and let everybody else knock me down and force me into basically um, being unhappy and being what everyone else wanted me to be. You can't do that. And stepping out was the best decision I've ever made. And the people who really loved me are still there. And anybody who's not in my life as a result of this, I don't need in my life anyway. It's hard, but it is worth being authentically you. So don't, don't compromise who you are for someone else. That's pretty much it. Um, until the next video, lots of love, guys, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.